Okay, so what up guys? It's Raven here. So it's been a while since I uploaded another video. Um Yes, um so I was quite busy and of course by busy I mean I was doing something. Okay, so if you guys don't mind just don't ask. Okay, so mm, of course uh Genshin was also lagging content due to the lockdown in Shanghai. So for those um players who are actually or travelers who are actually outside, um stay safe and don't get out of your house if you are unnecessary. Okay. Uh so for today's video Okay, so for today's video it'll be quite simple. So as we all know that Genshin has version 2.0 7 or 2.8 i i think it's 2.7 okay so this version update besides giving us the new story quest and besides just the story quest most players are more excited or more attracted to the two new banners uh, which are, which are the two new five star characters which are yelan and xiao so Yelan was a 5-star Hydro Bow character, while Xiao was a 5-star Animal Pole Arm character, along with their signature weapon, across Simao Lacra and Premode Jade Wing Spear. So today I'll be talking about these two characters, and for those people who are like, who are feeling lost, or is still deciding whether you want to draw them or get them. So, for Yelan, for Yelan, there, ha there has been a lot of like arguments. Like a lot of people say Yelan is just a typical Sinchu, and like yeah, yeah, they say Yelan is just Sinchu but a five star. So a lot of people think that it's not. Okay, so by using um, her in her trial and with my friend's account, and after using her, um, I feel like their kit, even though it looks similar, but they, they, they are actually, they are actually still differences. Like yes, um, what Yelan and Xingqiu mainly does is, we all, we all know, um, like. Uh, you, we already know how Sinchu works, so Sinchu you know, we normally use for elemental burst uh, we, for background hydro application and some sub DPS damage throughout his elemental skill which has a ridiculously high skill damage ratio or oh, multiple so um, for Yilan, she's quite unique instead of a raw multiplier like Sinchu her elemental skill scales on her max HP. And same goes to her elemental burst. So this means that Yelan doesn't have to necessarily build attack percentage. So she can also build some HP percentage, which also makes her artifacts more flexible. And her ascension talents also runs around with HP percentage, like as you can see. Um, if there are more elemental types in your team, she has more max HP. And, and yeah, both of them have like the same purpose, which is um, a sub DPS as well as background hydro application. But as I was using um, Xingqiu for so long, um, I, 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 at first, I thought Yelan release. I was like, okay, it's just Yelan, it's just a better Xingqiu. That's what I thought, but um, what really shocked me or what really gave me a surprise is the insane amount of damage her elemental burst outputs. So, as you can see here, it says 7.31% max HP for the skill cast and 4.87% max HP for 3 shots. So, by this, it means that she almost do like um, 14 or 15 percentage at only level 1 due, uh, according to a max HP so which is actually quite insane 
this means that she can just stack HP and still get a really really good um, numbers of damage. Even though it's 15 seconds, but when I personally used it, I feel like it's 1 or 2 seconds downtime. And the energy is relatively um, acceptable um, compared to someone else. So her skill, elemental skill, also have a really really high skill damage because um, this is just level 1 and you can see it's 22.6% max HP. So she, her, her kit was actually very very insane and her, her position in the team is supposed to be a sub DPS, okay? So a sub DPS is oh, um, mainly focused on um, background damage output and some of the elemental reactions. But in the case of Yelan, she is more to a damage sub DPS instead of a utility sub DPS like Sing Chu. Why do I say Sing Chu is a utility sub DPS? So, um, the biggest difference between the two of them is Sing Chu's elemental burst is more focused on applying Hydro. Um, so, it doesn't provide a lot of damage um, unless you really upgrade them, uh, I mean upgrade elemental burst, or you just get um, constellations. So, by what's insane about Yelan is, um, I actually tried in her trial. Her damage is actually very, very insane. Okay. So, here she is. Um, weapons, along with a signature weapon. And artifacts. Um, she has 4 piece emblem. Since she's just running um, her elemental burst. And look at the amount of multiplayer she have for level 8. It's like 36.2. And for elemental burst, that's like 7.8%. Be aware, this is just level 8. Um, this is not level 9 or 10. Now at 10, I think the multiplier will be even higher. So, this was simple damage. So, she can hold as many enemies as she wants for 3 seconds for elemental skill. And... After 3 seconds, um, she will release that string and um, the string will explode obviously and enemies will just um, get knocked for small enemies, okay? They will get knocked up on mid-air and, yeah, they, and they deal a good amount of real damage then. So for her elemental burst, um, it's actually really... Um, like, it's a lot of damage. Like, you see, this is just um, no reaction. Like, this is just raw damage. And you can see it's like dealing 5 or 6 thousand for every throw of the elemental burst. So, this is way much higher than the Sing Chu. Um, because some of you may say my Sing Chu is like obviously higher than this yellow. But, um, you have a points like um, yell this yellow get is constellation 0 yes I know it's it's along with uh, okay so um so like so she's obviously better because she has a neutral weapon but um when you have a look at the stats I mean like it's not a that good build Yelan uh, and the AI is C0. Like it's it's C0 and it's running some of the copium artifacts I guess. Yeah, it's running some of the copium artifacts. And it's C0 and it's telling it's just AAA and it's not AD ascended. This means she still have potential here compared to Sing Chu. So my Sing Chu um of course, my Sing is C6. I'm running a 2 2 piece. Um, so, I mean, I can't compare with 4 piece and Bloom, so the damage could be higher, but. But just to show an example, okay. I will use Sing Chu. On a solo uh, character. Okay, so uh, 
going to try Sinchu's elemental burst damage. So as I mentioned that Yelan's um, elemental burst was like five or six thousand. So Sing for Sing Chiu in this case, <laughs> my Sing Chiu was um, running a sacrificial sword, um, two plus two with ER sets, hydro damage bonus, and crit rate, and as well as C six and level eleven talents. Now I'm trying to. Okay. So Sing Chiu's Sing Chiu's three swords is like three. 3000 okay so it's 3267 okay so around that um it's not supposed to be that high like 3200 um because due to c2 um his damage increased by a bit okay so and also uh, and also c3 i forgot to mention like increase the elemental burst level by 3 Okay, so what happens if we go to the C? So it will be only 2,830. So 2,830 around there is 7 or 8k, and which is which is a lot of people will be like, oh, this is obviously higher than Yelan in the trial. Okay, so but keep in mind my signature is um, C3 or above, and most people don't even have C2 signature. So it's a fucking pain in the ass for some people to get signature. So in this case, I would like to say um, Yela is definitely better than Xingqiu Even though like, um, if you have a C2 Xingqiu, you can consider um, whether to draw her or not Okay, hmm. so the even though their elemental burst looks the same But mine is level 11 and hers is just level 8 and their duration is actually the same like the duration here is 15 seconds and the cooldown is 20 seconds which is longer than Yilan by 2 seconds and um, however the actual duration of my elemental burst is actually 18 seconds why 18 seconds because of my sing chu c2 um it says extends the duration of for sword ring cut by 3 seconds which is elemental burst and also decreases the hydro resistance of opponents hit by sword rain attacks by 15% for 4 seconds. So by all this buff, um only Sinchu managed to get higher than Yelam by that little bit. Okay. So in my personal opinion, Yelan is definitely better than Sinchu in terms of damage. But in terms of hydro application, I think that Sing Chiu is actually better um, when it works in a different way. Okay? Because Sing Chiu um, fires um, his elemental burst, which is the rain swords, at the same time. They actually fight in the same time. But in Yelan's case, um, if you saw the video just now, or the trial, um, Yelan actually fires the hydro, um, like the hydro exquisite throw damage uh, one by one itself, once at a time. So, <laughs> so my personal opinions are. Like for for those who are um who don't have Xingqiu or your Xingqiu is not um that good in constellations, you can consider getting Yelan. Okay. So Yelan is really really good as a sub, yes, and being one of the background hydro flyers. I mean if you have Barbara, you think Barbara is a good hydro applicator, um just go ahead. Um, because there are, there are a lot of reasons that I don't use her like I keep the thing freeze when I have my enemies and she needs to stick to the enemy like melee to like apply hydro on the enemy and her hydro application is really really slow and kind of slow okay so in terms of Yana and Sinchu they're both being the 
well, one of the few Hydro characters that can apply Hydro rapidly um, on background, I mean off field or backfield. Um, they are quite good to use on for a lot of team, um, team house, like uh, a vaporized team, uh, electro charge team, or uh, so it's actually really, really um, worth it for those who don't have a, a really, really good um, build situation or those who don't have constellation built Sinchu or a really stable sacrificial sword for Sinchu as you know that Sinchu runs sacrificial sword to cap his elemental burst 24-7 up so the refinement of sacrificial sword on Sinchu is really really important for me in the case I don't plan for Yilan is because my Sinchu actually has an R5 sacrificial sword I got this from drawing the Primal Magic card. So, and also I have C6. So, these two things gave me the reason not to draw for Yelan. But I am still trying to draw for Yelan for collection. Because my, my Hydro characters are just way too less. Yeah, I need a tree. So, I'll, I am also trying to do some collection for my Hydro. As you can see, I'm almost I'm almost a 500 day player and still I don't have Mona. Many have Ayato, Sinchu, and Mona. So in this case, um, I would like to um, make a uh, a conclusion here. So, what kind of players, um, are for for those who already made made up your mind, or those who already like. Um, set like I want to draw no matter what, don't care. Okay, just go ahead. I want to stop. So for those who are still feeling a bit lost about should I draw Yelan or not? Okay, so let me um explain a few um, points whether you should draw or not. Okay, straight to the point. Um, if you don't have a C two Sinchu, um, consider drawing Yelan. Okay, if you have R one or R two sacrificial sword, consider drawing Yelan. Okay, that's all I want to say. Not um Yelan is not that necessary for me, uh for your accounts because you have you already have Sinchu like uh yeah you have a Sinchu for hydro applications and sub DPS even though it's a bit lower than Yelan. But um if you would like to speed run some certain domains or abyss um and you like to see big numbers um so i think you can just draw here since she has a really really high multiplier as i mentioned she's actually quite easy so the next character i'd like to say is um the character i just got and i mentioned just now which is xiao so xiao um is having his second rerun quite fast um I was not expecting this. I got him um, and I feel quite lucky to be honest. Because I got him at 75 sharp and I won my 50 50. So, as I said, Xiao is an animal pole arm 5 star character. So, he his position on a team is as an on field DPS. Okay? So, being one of the first animal DPS. Um, is actually really really good and he is he has been standing for quite some time for in the abyss uh, as the abyss keeps changing non-stop and a lot of play players are like in pain and all this so Xiao managed to got his rerun along with his signature set of artifacts so Xiao is um, for me, um, I draw it because I don't have an animal DPS. Um, I really, really don't have an animal DPS. That's why I draw Xiao. And Xiao's Xiao specialty is him being one of the on-field AOE players. Like, an actual AOE 
um for for LE you guys may thought like oh Chalk is also an AOE and Kazuha is also an AOE but um Chalk needs to proc Rip Tide and he needs to fight a lot of enemies to proc Rip Tide and deals AOE damage. For Kazuha he needs to use skills like he needs to use his elemental skill and burst to deal AOE. But for Xiao his main playstyle of course he needs to use his skill but he only rely on one skill which is his talent his elemental burst um which is mainly the uh, which mainly just turns every Xiao's attack to a to an AoE attack. Not every attack but focus on his main plunging attack. So as you can see um, after using the elemental burst he gains Yaksha's mask, which greatly increases Xiao's jumping ability, increases his attack AoE and attack damage, converts attack damage into animal damage, which cannot be overridden by any other elemental inclusion. Okay, so this means that if he uses his elemental burst, he will get um he will, he gets increased jumping ability. And as you can see here, even the elemental burst, like it says, normal charge plunging attack damage bonus is increased by 81.6%. That's actually a, a lot and it's very, very high. But um, what makes this elemental burst balance is the life drain because um, he's a Yaksha and he has karma on him. So by using this, um, he will. He will cost two percent of his current HP to decrease every second, so the ulti will go on for fifteen seconds. So I, you may need to consider uh, bringing a healer <laughs> for him, and also another problem for him is his energy cost for his elemental boost. So it's actually seventy. Um, for seventy, some of you might think that uh, it's okay. Uh, I mean, seventy is not a big deal. But um, consider him as an on-field DPS, most of us will just start to do more damage um, stacking stats instead of energy regeneration. So the biggest problem most Xiao means always face is like I don't have enough energy to cycle him for one elemental burst duration. I mean it's okay, um since you're not doing Xiao solo, so there's definitely a way. So, uh, if you are running Xiao on the team, you definitely need a, an animal battery. Um, why would I say you would definitely need one? Because, um, as I said, his elemental burst energy cost is 70, which is quite high. And he can't get it fully in one cycle unless you have a lot of enemies. So, you may like to run a Sucrose or animal traveler or team or any animal characters but the best in slot is sucrose so what this um why is sucrose best in slot because um her elemental skill can create a lot of particles for xiao um but the downtime is quite long so some people may preferably bring gene or Kazuha, I don't have Kazuha here, don't ask me why. But for those who have Sucrose and you have C1 and you have uh, Sacrificial Fragments, it's highly recommended that you bring Sucrose for Xiao, as she can help Xiao to charge up his elemental burst very very fast. So as I mentioned that um, Xiao, Xiao's main playstyle is true plunging attack um so obviously his scaling is quite um mid like not really really high just normal but when it comes to plunging damage um he actually has a really really high scaling i think this is almost the highest among pole arms as you can see it's 349 percent for a high plunge at level a and including this a 1.6 you actually get like 400 something percent or even higher at high levels and plus you get um, this passive talent when you hit level 60 ascended uh, 
No wait, it's not that. Yeah, I mean the the level twenty ascended. So um, it says while well, under the effects of Bane of all evil, which is an elemental burst, all damage dealt by shell increases by five percent. Damage increases by a further five percent for every three second the ability persists. Maximum damage bonus is twenty five percent. So by unlocking this, your shell typically became a main on field DPS. Okay, so. And as this allows him to do more and more damage over time. And he's true AOE. And his artifact sets are actually quite flexible. I will make a separate video uh, later on. So, for those who like uh, already decided to get Xiao, um, as as same as I mentioned for Yilan, just go on and won't stop you. But for those new um like new players who just started Genshin, um Xiao is a really worth um DPS. As I say he's animal, he is AoE and he is quite easy to play because all you need to do is you activate this and you just start jumping and attacking jumping and attacking so it's actually quite fun quite fun to play and quite um, easy to handle for new games and it also it's also quite um fine to level up um as you can unlock Lia after once that so it should be quite fine so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have for to say for this one. So for Xiao, he's as I besides mentioning that one of um, the playstyle which is using him as a main DPS on field. Um, there's also another different playstyle like um, compared to just being a main DPS. So the the another playing method is um letting Xiao to be on field applier. I mean not on field applier but on field um trigger and uh and like just trigger or apply or just uh yeah just trigger and I'll explain more about that on the on other video. So for Xiao, for those who are actually planning on getting him, just go ahead. I don't have much comments, but Team Zhao are like those who like who are still new. Um, I mean, you can definitely consider getting Xiao um, as he was one of the most powerful DPS in the whole game for. Um, like for raw scaling, like you don't need a lot of complicated elemental reactions and stuff like that. So I mean, it can be definitely worth it. So just go on, like go on and get Xiao. But the materials may be quite pain for a little um, mobile or laptop like this, as it's quite hard. Okay. Um, as some of the materials need to climb mountains, mountains to get it. so it's not really like that nice. <laughs> so as I mentioned, all you need to do is you space bar and you attack. Space bar and you attack. Space bar and you attack. The space bar and you attack. So it's actually quite easy to use. So it's actually quite easy. Um, 
want to like want a brain brain dead play style <laughs> not brain dead um, a quite easy play style compared to all other characters like Yoi Mia Hu Tao uh, like Yoi Mia Hu Tao um, child or other DPSs where they are many specific locations and, and specific um, damage output methods like attack methods like some of them you will need to prevent them to do like that you do normal attack and only you do charge attack but for Xiao you don't have to be like, that complicated because all you need to do is um like for example if you ran out of energy and you want to charge it back up real quick um, it's, it's, uh, super, uh, like you do E and you do e, e and I suppose you almost have full energy right now <laughs> so it's actually quite simple to use so my personal opinions on this 2.7 banner or 2.8 FF1 so Yelan and Xiao <coughs> So they both are worth it. Hmm. So they both are yes, I would say definitely worth drawing or getting them. But um if it's necessary for your account, um I think you may still need to do some research on whether do they fit your account or do your account really really need them but um an i know it's annoying to keep saying this but um just a reminder for those who draw characters for their looks their aesthetics um or their other other beauty just go on i won't stop you it's your account after all so by making this video i'm giving like just giving a small small advice about whether you should draw them so Yelan um, as I said Hydro Bow and off field sub DPS and Xiao as a 5 star animal pull arm on field DPS AOE so depends on what your account is lagging or lacking whether do you need this character or not and then only you decide to draw them okay? so that's pretty much I want to say about um, this video I will make a really quick Xiao guide after this and for Yelan, I don't think I have Yelan I, I don't think I can get her in as the time is just too less so for Yelan, I, I think I'll, I'll just give um, some build recommendations that I did heavy research on uh, and also borrow Yelan from a friend account uh, I mean at the it's not my I mean I would like to test Yelan myself but um, I don't think my account I can get Yelan on my account as my, I am not a whale I am a really really small spender by small spender, I mean I only bought Wacky Moon and only two times of the battle pass. Actually, it's not two times, I only bought one time. And the other time is my one of my friends bought for me. So that's why you some of you see my previous videos. I have two battle pass weapons, which is a nice fine damage. So if I get Yelam by the end of this banner, if I can get her, I would release a new guide or uh, about how Yelan is and um optimal ways to beat her or do rotations. So for my next video plan I will upload a Xiao guide. Okay, so most of you have probably seen the Xiao guide or the Xiao best artifacts, best build. But um, I will just upload a small guide for Xiao on my next video because I just got him and I would like to just share 
of my followers or my supporters about how shell is in that. Okay, so I think pretty much this is my um my what I want to say for this video. So again, thank you for watching till the end of this video. And something that is off title of video um so COVID-19 is still not over yet the COVID pandemic is still not over so wishing you guys peace and safe out there um wear a, wear a fucking mask when you're in public so um yeah stay safe um sleep well rest well do a whatever you want Okay, um, life goes on just the way as it is. So, for, for my next video, um, I think you'll be coming in two or three days. So, all the best for all the travelers and players out there. So, I will see you in my next video and it's related about my shell guy. So, all the best. Peace.